Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the definition of a perfect Mario Kart experience. But can perfection be improved upon? Uh, I think yes. Hey internet, I'm Mike Bryce, and in this video, I'm going to go over 9 things that Mario Kart 9 needs to have. After you watch the video, let me know if you agree with these opinions in the comments below. And if you have any additional features you'd like to see in the next installment, type those in as well. Also, don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you enjoy what you see here today, as we are currently on the path to 10,000 subscribers. Whether you're a longtime viewer or just checking out my content for the first time, your support means a lot and I just want to say thank you so much. Anyways, without further ado, let's -a go! The first and by far biggest thing I want to see in the next Mario Kart installment is an open world story mode, much to the akin of Crash Team Racing and Diddy Kong Racing. Mario Kart DS looked like it was experimenting with a single player campaign with its mission mode, but that's the closest we've ever gotten. We need to go the route of CTR Diddy Kong Racing to expand upon it with an open world story mode featuring similar challenges that were featured in Mario Kart Tour, such as time trials, ring race, glider challenges, Goomba Takedown, vs Mega Opponent, and vs 100 Racers, just to name a few. This would be a great way to feature unlockable characters, as once beaten in a challenge, they become available in the main game. As for what the actual plot of story mode would be, I have no idea. This is a Mario game, we don't need anything crazy. Having it be the characters are trying to determine who the best racer is, or that an evil entity has taken over the Mario Kart universe would make the most sense to me. The second thing that Mario Kart 9 needs to feature are character costumes, like those featured in Mario Kart Tour. Mario Kart Tour may be controversial, but one thing you can't deny it did right was add so many cool and unique costumes for the fan favorite racers. Unlike Tanuki Mario and Cat Peach in 8 Deluxe, I don't think that these costumes or alts should take up a character slot and should appear in a drop down menu, like they did for the colored Yoshi, Shy Guys, and Birdos, as well as the Inklings and Villagers in the Wave 6 update. Tour nailed it with fun and unique costumes, but there are so many more possibilities out there, like Paper Mario from Mario, Sword Fighter Peach from the upcoming Princess Peach Showtime for Peach, heck, even the Octolings for the Inklings. That is, if they return in the next game. I'm on the fence if I want to see these alts have the same stats or separate stats from their original character. I think there's an argument to be made for both. It makes these alts even more unique if their stats are different. However, it could get confusing. I'm just going to say, as long as alts return for a majority of the characters, I'd be a happy guy. The third thing Mario Kart 9 needs to feature are more guest characters, like Link, the Inklings, and the Animal Crossing crew in 8 Deluxe. I'd love to see popular Nintendo characters like Kirby and Samus take a seat behind the wheel, or even have Rob make a return from Mario Kart DS. But even more importantly, we need Captain Falcon to finally make his Mario Kart debut after being teased with two tracks in a cart in Mario Kart 8. As much as I want this, I don't however want these non-Mario characters to take the spot of a deserving Mario character, like Professor E. Gad or Luma. I think the best option is to have these non-Mario guest characters as paid DLC. That way the player has the choice to purchase these characters or not. I know there are some people out there that feel like Mario Kart is slowly turning into Nintendo Kart with these guest characters, but I don't see it that way. I think having a handful of non-Mario reps makes the game even more appealing and spices things up a little bit. But hey, that's just my opinion. What say you? Let me know in the comments. Did you know that 94% of people who watch my content aren't subscribed? If you enjoy the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified when I upload future videos. If you'd like to support the channel further, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button underneath the video or in the description of the video to gain access to custom emotes you can use across the channel's videos and live streams. Anyways, back to the video. The fourth thing that the next Mario Kart game needs is something a little out there, and that's Elimination GPs. This is an idea I got from Mario Kart Wii CTGP, but essentially, it's a Grand Prix of four races where you're not aiming for the most points, but you're just trying to not finish in the bottom of the pack, because if you do, you're eliminated. Using 12 racers as an example, the bottom two from the first race would be eliminated, leaving 10, the bottom two from the second race would be eliminated, leaving eight, the bottom four from the third race would be eliminated, leaving four, and then the fourth race would play out like a normal race between four players. Of course, when playing online, not every race has 12 players, so the elimination rules would have to be dependent on how many racers are in the lobby. 
I think adding new modes like this would add to the competitiveness of the already competitive nature of Mario Kart. The fifth thing that Mario Kart 9 needs to include is probably a no-brainer, but that's a selection of new items. Nintendo is pretty good with creating new items for each installment, but I have a few ideas. The first is the Thwomp. After the player activates it, the Thwomp raises above the track. And then, when another racer drives under where that Thwomp was activated, they get squished, causing them to spin out and lose any items that they are currently holding. The second is the Drill. This allows players to drill themselves under the track, causing them to be immune from any items or track hazards for a short period of time. This would also allow players to take grass or dirt shortcuts without having to consume a speed-boosting item. The third and final item idea I have is similar to the Dash Ring and Tour, but instead, it's the Launch Star. This item would create a Launch Star in front of the player who activates it, which when driven through, would launch the player to a part of the track further ahead. The downside of this item is that the Launch Star would remain on the track for a few seconds, allowing other racers to drive through the Launch Star as well. I don't think these are great ideas by any means, but I thought I'd share some ideas here anyways. Continuing the conversation of items, the sixth thing that the next Mario Kart game needs to include is the return of character-specific items. First introduced in Double Dash, and later returning in Tour, these are items that only a select list of characters are able to obtain during races. Originally in Double Dash, these special items were exclusive to a team of two racers. However, when this feature was brought back in Tour, the number of characters that shared specific items were much larger due to the over 200 racers that were playable in that game. I'm honestly okay with continuing the tour method for special items, as long as no more than 5 racers share the same item. I don't really have any ideas for new special items, and I'd be happy with the tour special items returning in the next Mario Kart. Minus the coin block and bubble. The seventh thing Mario Kart 9 needs relates to the battle mode, and that's the option to turn off the point system and turn on elimination style gameplay, much to the akin of Mario Kart DS. I'm surprised that this feature was dropped after DS, as it made me play battle mode almost as frequently as the Grand Prix and Versus modes. And while the point system for battle mode in the most recent entries is fine, it just doesn't have that appeal for me that the old style had. Much like the elimination style GPs that I mentioned earlier on this list, an elimination style battle mode provides the player with more of a rush. They could even go the tour route, where after having all your balloons popped, you get an opportunity to screw over the remaining participants by tossing items at them from above. So instead of having one or the other, Nintendo needs to offer both options, so fans get the best of both worlds. The eighth thing that the next Mario Kart game needs is reverse and remix options for racetracks. Once again, this is a feature that was present in Tour, and it made for an interesting way to experience the different tracks. Nintendo experimented with these in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC, with N64 Calamari Desert and DS Peach Gardens, but I'd like them to explore it further by offering reverse versions for every track in the game. When it comes to the remix tracks, I don't need every track to have this option. Mainly only tracks that are on the duller side, like the SNES or Circuit tracks. This would spice up races, and would provide players with a new challenge of mastering these modified tracks. The ninth and final thing that Mario Kart 9 needs is something that was previously explored in Mario Kart Home Circuit, and that's a track maker mode. Now, the Home Circuit version was very bare bones, but that's just because of how the game functioned. But we need a proper, full-fledged track maker that's more comparable to the Mario Maker games. We may not need it as fleshed out as that, but providing options for creating layouts, a variety of biomes and backgrounds to choose from, and item block and enemy placement options are all musts. The fact that games like Diddy Kong Racing DS offered track makers way back in 2005, although extremely simplified track makers, and Mario Kart hasn't just seems like a missed opportunity. Being able to create tracks and upload them online for friends and fellow players to play would be the creme de la creme for Mario Kart, and is an easy way to push Mario Kart even further ahead in sales. It would add even more replayability as you try to master these fan-made tracks and become the top time trial record. Fans have been clamoring for this for over a decade, so come on Nintendo! Why not thank the fans by giving them the most requested new feature? <laughs>